Stephen R. Covey, First Things First In a First Things First, Stephen R. Covey invites readers to prioritize the significant aspects of life while rethinking the concept of time management. Instead of focusing on checking tasks off a list, Covey stresses the importance of following the compass of our lives, which helps us align our values, principles, and conscience. The book reinforces the idea that personal relationships with family and friends often hold greater importance than other aspects, and offers useful advice on viewing goals from the right perspective, empowering others through leadership, and maintaining balance. Embracing Life's Priorities It's easy to get caught up in the go-go-go mentality, chasing after any means to make our lives pass by quicker. However, that's not the secret to happiness. What truly counts are our values, principles, and connections, or the compass of our lives. Prioritizing what is most important to us, such as personal relationships, can lead to a more fulfilling life than speeding through tasks solely to check them off a list. Picture a magical being granting you the power to do everything 20% faster. Tempting, right? While many would leap at the chance, it's essential to pause and reflect. How do we truly want to spend our valuable time? Our society typically focuses on productivity, viewing success as crossing off tasks on checklists. Self-help books often reinforce this narrative, urging us to achieve our goals at breakneck speed. Unfortunately, in doing so, we can lose sight of a much larger piece of the puzzle, our personal values, principles, and connections. These elements form the compass of our lives and deserve equal consideration when allocating our time. Fulfillment doesn't come from racing through superficial milestones. It stems from focusing on the things that genuinely make our lives richer and positively impact our overall happiness. For many of us, these priorities center around the relationships we have with family and friends. Think about it, when reflecting on your life, would you genuinely regret not spending more hours at work? Take a moment to imagine you climbed the corporate ladder, earned a top salary, but realize you missed the window to have children, a personal dream of yours. If you were unaware of your true desires, you might have made choices that ultimately hinder your long-term contentment. So, before blindly accepting the magical offer to speed through life, consider the alternative. Identify the first things that genuinely give your life meaning and make them your top priority. By focusing on the compass of our lives, we can lead a happier, more fulfilling existence. Urgent versus important, striking balance. It's easy to prioritize urgent tasks over important ones because of societal expectations, adrenaline rushes, and the illusion that busyness equates to importance. However, focusing on urgency can lead to neglecting what truly matters and brings long-lasting happiness, such as nurturing healthy relationships and personal interests. Assessing priorities and striking a balance between the two factors, the urgent and the important, enables us to make well-rounded decisions in our daily lives while maintaining our connections and well-being. In today's fast-paced world, we tend to prioritize tasks based on urgency instead of importance. We usually fill our days with work, errands, and social obligations, while ignoring meaningful, fulfilling activities. Why does this happen? Primarily because society often equates a busy, stressful life with success and importance. Additionally, tackling urgent tasks releases adrenaline, making us feel energized. This way of prioritizing, unfortunately, leads to overlooking what truly counts for our well-being. Imagine a situation where you need to choose between attending a business dinner or spending time with your family. While the business dinner might seem urgent, the long-term emotional impact from neglecting your family can be more considerable and challenging to mend. Achieving lasting happiness requires recognizing and balancing the urgent and important aspects of our lives. While we cannot always prioritize what is most important, ensuring that we do so often enough is essential to maintaining healthy and genuine connections, both with ourselves and with others. Balancing Four Vital Needs In order to enhance your quality of life, you must address four primary human needs, physical, mental, social, and spiritual. 
Focus on your personal values to guide decisions that will fulfill and balance these areas over time, ultimately leading to a higher quality of life. Everyone wants to focus on what truly matters in life, but how can you do that? Start by recognizing the four basic human needs that are intrinsic to a fulfilled life. These include the physical need for essentials like food and shelter, the mental need to learn and stay intellectually stimulated, the social need for love and connection with trustworthy people, and the spiritual need to find purpose and create a lasting impact. A person's overall happiness and quality of life are directly influenced by how well these needs are met. Unfulfilled needs can lead to stress, anxiety, and fear, so balancing them is critical. How can you achieve this balance? The answer lies in your principles, which serve as the internal compass guiding your life's direction. Always let your principles guide your decisions, and understand that immediate results may not be possible. For instance, if you aspire to be a marathon runner, but currently have a sedentary lifestyle, adhering to principles of dedication and good health will eventually lead you toward your goal. By focusing on your principles, they will help you meet and balance your needs, ultimately elevating your quality of life. Embrace your future vision. Life can be profoundly enhanced by nurturing a future-oriented mindset and having a clear vision of what you want to achieve. This vision empowers you to make decisions with more ease, overcome challenges, and maintain a strong sense of purpose. One effective method of developing this vision is to create a personal mission statement. By imagining your long-term accomplishments, you can direct your efforts more effectively and set sail towards a life defined by purpose and fulfillment. Enjoying an enriched life and making decisions with ease often comes down to having a future-oriented outlook. When your sights are set on a clear vision of what you want to achieve, the heavy weight of fear and doubt can be effectively countered, allowing you to surmount obstacles. Take Gandhi as an example, his unwavering drive for an egalitarian society helped him shed his anxiety over public speaking, which paled in comparison to his greater goal. A compelling vision for the future is also instrumental in seeing you through challenging times, as it serves as a constant reminder of the ultimate goal. Viktor Frankl, a Holocaust survivor, observed that the defining characteristic of fellow survivors was their strong sense of purpose. These individuals carried within them a deep-rooted mission that propelled them through hardship. To forge your powerful vision for the future, consider crafting a personal mission statement. Imagine yourself at your 80th birthday, reflecting on your accomplishments. What do you see? A large, loving family, a thriving business, or something entirely different? The long-term objectives you envision for your life should form the foundation of your mission statement, steering the direction of your future aspirations. Once your statement is written, it's crucial to remain focused on the path towards these goals and resist distractions or temporary diversions. Make each step count, and let your future vision guide you towards a life filled with purpose and success. Crafting Effective Goals a key to personal growth is setting meaningful goals that align with our values, are achievable within our realm of influence, and are driven by importance rather than urgency. To ensure success, we need to identify the what, why, and how for each goal and maintain unwavering dedication. New Year's resolutions are infamous for quickly falling by the wayside, but the challenge of setting and completing goals isn't limited to just January. Many people set goals, yet fail to reach them, or may achieve the desired outcome but at a high cost. Consider the Soviet government's crackdown on alcohol sales in the 1980s, while alcohol consumption dropped, narcotics use soared, causing unforeseen socioeconomic issues. To reach our goals in a positive way, the key is consistency with our values and principles. We need to identify what we want to achieve, why we want to achieve it, and how we will go about doing so. For example, if our what is to maintain a healthy body, our why could be to feel good and be a positive role model for our children. The how, then, might involve adopting healthier eating habits and exercising regularly. Additionally, it's crucial that our goals lie within our sphere of influence. While we can't impact a foreign leader's decisions, we hold the power to control our habits and choices. Focusing on goals within our reach increases our chance of success. Lastly, 
goals should be driven by importance, not urgency. Remember that meaningful change takes time. If our goal is to achieve a healthier lifestyle, it's acceptable for the journey to span years. Staying dedicated and recognizing the profound impact our goals can have on our lives can keep us motivated, even through challenges and setbacks. By creating goals that align with our values, remain achievable within our influence, and prioritize importance over urgency, we are more likely to experience success and long-lasting personal growth. Powerful Decision-Making Perspectives To make effective decisions, it's crucial to combine short-term and long-term perspectives, creating a weekly calendar that accommodates work, family, and leisure. By prioritizing principles such as integrity and friendship, we can ensure that our choices align with our values. Furthermore, Integrating different goals can streamline tasks and reduce stress, leading to more efficient decision-making. Just like a skilled photographer uses unique lenses to create captivating images, you too can achieve optimal results in decision-making by adopting the right perspective. Many people limit themselves to a single viewpoint, focusing either on immediate needs or long-term objectives. However, the secret to making better decisions lies in integrating both short-term and long-term perspectives through weekly planning. Craft a weekly calendar to balance your priorities, such as work, family, and leisure. While assigning specific hours to each activity may not be necessary, ensure that each area receives due attention throughout the week. Moreover, try combining your goals to minimize stress and increase efficiency. For instance, Instead of fretting over preparing a dinner dish, meeting new neighbors, and testing a new recipe for an event, why not kill three birds with one stone? Cook the innovative recipe for dinner, share it with your neighbors, and serve it at the upcoming reception. Incorporating the right perspective is crucial, but so is staying true to your principles. When faced with conflicting options, such as choosing between spending a quiet evening at home and helping a troubled friend, always prioritize values like friendship and reliability. Upholding these principles while making choices showcases integrity in the moment of choice, an essential element of sound decision-making. To sum it up, the key to effective decision-making lies in adopting a balanced perspective between short-term and long-term views and aligning choices with your core values. By doing so, you'll not only make better decisions but also lead a more fulfilling life. Embrace cooperation, not competition. We often find ourselves caught up in the race of life, focusing on competition and independence, resulting in a rushed lifestyle with negative consequences. Shifting our perspectives to embrace interdependence and cooperation can lead to more fulfilling, healthy, and successful relationships. By acknowledging our need for others and creating win-win situations, we ultimately enhance our lives. Life constantly propels us into competition, causing us to incessantly compare our achievements, status, and appearances with others. This obsession with independence and competition leads to a hurried way of life, consuming fast food, jumping from one relationship to another, and avoiding facing challenges. This lifestyle brings about health issues, failed relationships, and unhappiness. A more constructive approach is to realize our innate interdependence and emphasize cooperation in our lives. All four basic human needs, living, loving, learning, and leaving a legacy, require relationships with others. Recognizing our dependence on others fosters a healthier and happier life. Concentrating on cooperation shifts our mindset from a winner-loser mentality to creating win-win scenarios. Consider a struggling marriage. Those who divorce when problems arise only view relationships as a competition. In contrast, couples who share a vision and cooperate tend to grow stronger by overcoming challenges together. Ultimately, adopting a cooperative attitude with others enriches our lives and paves the way for long-term success in our relationships. Empowering Personal Leadership Personal leadership is a dynamic role that we undertake in numerous aspects of our lives, from family to work. To be an effective leader, focus on creating a high-trust culture that empowers others. Encourage others to find their own solutions, involve them in decision-making, and seek feedback to foster trust, respect, and honesty. These conditions help people feel empowered, 
ultimately leading to better performance and strong relationships in all areas of life. In every aspect of our lives, we assume roles of personal leadership, from parenthood to employment. Flourishing in these roles requires empowering those we lead. Although we cannot impart direct empowerment, we can foster conditions of trust, respect, and honesty, allowing individuals to empower themselves. One way to cultivate such an environment is by involving others in decision-making processes. Picture a coworker approaching you with a problem. Instead of hastily offering a solution, ask what they would do and support them in finding their own resolution. This method conveys your respect for their creativity and enhances their sense of empowerment, motivating them to perform even better in the future. Building mutual trust and accountability is vital when leading others. Research shows that organizations with a high-trust culture, where employees feel valued and trusted, outperform those with a low-trust culture. Leading through strict supervision and control might yield quicker results, but it is counterproductive in the long term. Regular feedback helps nurture a high-trust culture. By actively seeking feedback from those you lead, you demonstrate your respect for their opinion and can identify areas that may require improvement. An open-minded CEO who listens to employee feedback, for example, not only shows their value for input but also exhibits humility in acknowledging that their performance may not be perfect. In all areas of life, from family to work and friendships, personal leadership is essential. By anchoring your relationships in trust, respect, and honesty, you can become an effective and empowering leader. Embrace balance and connectivity. Upholding strong principles improves life quality, and one such essential principle is balance. Contrary to popular belief, our lives aren't divided into separate compartments like work, family, and leisure. In fact, such compartmentalization hinders our ability to apply our skills across different areas of life. Recognize that our roles and tasks are all interconnected. To ensure you're employing your time efficiently, Blend your roles and discover creative ways to fulfill multiple desires or needs simultaneously. By embracing balance and the connectivity of life, you'll be able to unlock new opportunities and lead a more harmonious existence. Attaining inner peace Inner peace is essential for having a meaningful, joyful, and well-balanced life. Achieving it involves overcoming discouragement, pride, and unrealistic expectations. Focus on humility and courage, and do not let yourself be bogged down by comparisons. Prioritize the essential aspects of life, and everything else will fall into its rightful place. Are you content with your life? Do you experience joy and balance, and do you feel a sense of purpose? If not, the causes might be discouragement, pride, and unrealistic expectations, which are the three most common barriers to inner peace. Attaining inner peace is crucial for a fulfilling life. These obstacles can sometimes occur simultaneously. For example, envision yourself as a confidently skilled employee who is unexpectedly passed over for a promotion. You might feel disheartened and ashamed in your current role while someone else moves up the ladder. However, it's necessary to shift focus towards humility and courage and let go of unrealistic expectations. Remember, another person's promotion doesn't negate your abilities or performance. In some cases, you might be so good at your job that the company prefers to keep you in your current position. Adopting such a mindset can help you find inner peace and enhance your overall life. A vital aspect of achieving inner peace is prioritizing. An insightful illustration of this comes from a professor who demonstrated this concept using a jar. He first filled the jar with rocks before asking if it was full. His students agreed that it was. The professor then poured in gravel that occupied the spaces between the rocks, followed by sand and, lastly, water. The jar represented our lives, with the rock symbolizing the vital aspects of life, and the sand, gravel, and water representing everything else. The professor's point was that if we fill our lives with trivial tasks first, we will have no room for essential matters. However, once we prioritize what truly matters, the remaining facets of life will naturally fall into place.
Covey's A First Things First provides valuable insights into recognizing and prioritizing what truly matters in our lives. By identifying our first things and focusing on our core principles, we gain a clearer understanding of what brings long-lasting happiness. The book emphasizes the importance of interdependence and cooperation, as well as the significance of personal leadership and fostering trust. Ultimately, maintaining balance, connecting the different roles we play, and achieving inner peace are essential in enhancing our overall quality of life. First Things First serves as a guide for readers seeking to lead a fulfilling and purpose-driven life.